Hello fighting gamers, this is Dog Brock, and welcome to your next installment of Future Fighter Game Development. You've got the best seats in the house for this sci-fi fighting game, and this week we're talking about the suits. That's right, I said suits, not robots. Surprised? Some people actually are. Um, one person that saw my PC background, and they saw Omega facing off against uh, each other, a mirror match, they said, are, are those... Are those robots or are those suits? Another person on social media asked, is this Rise of the Robots 2? Facetiously, facetiously of course. Uh, it, it, uh, hilarious. Hilarious. However, no, these are not robots. And no, this is not Rise of the Robots 2. Although I appreciate being compared to AAA franchises. And I also very much appreciate the feedback. These are fighting suits. Fighting suits are so important in Future Fighter because it allows them to amplify their martial arts. You see Arissa de Fury uh, ahead of you here in her fighting suit, and this suit is it fits her in every way. It fits her body type. Uh, she is shorter. She's small framed, but it also fits her fighting style. She's a tech ninja. She uses ninjutsu along with future tech to take down her opponents uh, and she's an assassin so stealth is of course important in this particular case that suit of armor it melds with her it it powers her movements it's in maxim it maximizes her strategies but it also protects her because remember the other people she's fighting in future fighter also have suits that are doing the same so she has to withstand their energy she has to counter their skill their power and the third thing that makes up a great fighter. To find that out, though, you've got to subscribe. So click that button, and I'll see you next time.